हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ आई थिंक यू ऑल आर डूइंग योर ऑनलाइन वर्क बैटर सो स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अवर सेशंस वी आर लेट्स चेक हियर द टूडेज कॉट सो व्हाट इज टूडेज कॉट नाउ लेट्स सी हियर द टूडेज कॉट सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स सी हियर द एजुकेशन इज नॉट द लर्निंग ऑफ फैक्ट बट द ट्रेनिंग ऑफ द माइंड ऑफ mind to think what education is not the learning of fact but the training of the mind to think it means what education is not only learning things of fact but the training which training we are taking the education there is a training of what it's a training of the mind to think ओके माइंड टू थिंक मीन्स वॉट वी हैव वी गॉट द समथिंग न्यू आइडिया ओके माइंड टू थिंक अवर माइंड इज थिंकिंग अ न्यू ओके वी आर लर्निंग न्यू सो अवर माइंड इज अवर थिंकिंग न्यू थिंग्स अंडरस्टूड सो दिस कोट इज गिवन बाय फेमस अ ग्रेट और फेमस साइंटिस्ट इज आलबर्ट आइटस्टाइन got my points now students let's see here what we have done in last session i hope you all are remember so what we have done in in uh, do in done in last session so students we have done in last session so revision of multiplications exploring a multi uh, multiplications exercise number 3 day question number 1 build the 12 times sorry build the 12 tell 12 times table using this idea yesterday we have a done students what build the 12 times number using this idea then exercise number 3 a then exploring a multiplication and then chapter number 3 multiplication now uh, got my points so now let's see what we are going to learn today so now let's see here today we are going to learn first of all revision revision of previous lecture means a last lecture exercise number 3 a question number 1 build the 12 times table so again we are students to today we are going to learn again this sessions got my point all students so now we move on we move on second topic second topic means second question second question is what here for us second question is for multiply by the breaking up factor means a fact we have, we are here break the numbers what we are here break the numbers or numbers means which number factors we we are here break the factors and then multiply and a uh, solve the multiplication got my points so now today we are going to learn question number 2 multiply by breaking up factors and then new topic is exploring multiplication further what we have to explore something okay you know what is the meaning of explore we have to exploring something we have a, we have explore a digit number factors got my points further so now students first of all we uh, we are going to learn what again i am telling you today we are going to learn revision of previous lectures means re uh, revision which revision but exercise number 3 okay in chapter number 3 exercise number 3 a question number 1 building the 12 tables what building the 12 times table yesterday we have already we have done this topic then question number 2 question number 2 is what all students question number 2 is multiply by breaking up factor was multiply by breaking up factor then after exploring multiplication what exploring multiplication further understood all students so students oh, what is our new topic exploring multiplication further so now students st students we starting here the yesterday's sessions means a previous lecture what we what we have done in a previous lecture so students we starting the previous lectures revision so now today yesterday but today again we are do the revision of yesterday's lecture so students today we are start this sessions 1 multiply by 12 12 ones are 12 
okay so 112 that means what 1 multiply by 12 so 1 multiply by 10 is equal to 1 10 is a 10 so i'm wrote here at 10 10 10 plus multiply plus and then bracket and 1 multiply by 2 1 2 is a 2 so this this 1 10 is a 10 and this 1 2 is a 2 so 10 plus 2 10 plus 2 how many all students 12 12 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 is equal to 12 then 2 2 multiply by 12 2 multiply by 12 2 multiply by 12 is equal to now we are finding so 2 12 za sorry 12 to za 24 12 to za 24 for but we are by the exploring build the 12 times table 2 2 20 za means 22 za okay sorry but that time that time two tens are not a 20 two tens are two tens are how many 20 understood two tens are 20 then after two twos are how many two twos are four two twos are four so 20 plus four 20 plus four so how many all students 24 good my point all students again i am repeating you two twelves are okay then is equal to then break it 2 multiply by 10 so 2 multiply by 10 means 2 tens are this 2 twelves are and 2 tens are 2 tens are 20 and 2 twos are 2 twos are so how many 4 2 twos are 4 2 twos are 4 is equal to 20 plus 4 so is equal to how many 24 understood so now 12 twos are 24 or 2 twelves are 24 both side is correct see here 2 twelves are is equal to 24 and 12 twos are so how many students 24 understood here 12 ones are 12 1 twelve are 12 and here 12 twos are 24 or 12 to, uh, 2 2 twelves are 10 24 then after third 3 multiply by 12 is equal to bracket 3 multiply 10 then bracket so 10 threes are 10 threes are 30 10 threes are 30 then after plus 3 twos are 3 to the 6 so here 30 plus 6 3 tens are 13 plus 3 to the 6 3 3 tens are 30 plus 3 to the 6 so 30 plus 6 how many 36 got my points so 12 3 is 36 and 3 twelves are 36 got my point all students or to yesterday we have done till 2 7 but today we are going to 8 2 10 so first of all what we have done 1 2 and 3 so now 4 5 6 and 7 so 4 multiplied by 10 is equal to 4 into 10 4 tens are 14 4 tens are 14 then after 4 multiply by 2 4 multiply by 2 so how many 8 4 to the 8 so 14 plus 8 14 plus 8 so how many all students 48 how many all students 48 then after 5 5 multiply by 10 5 multiply by 10 so 16 here 4 multiply by 12 so 48 and here 5 5 multi multiply by 12 so 5 12 uh, 5 12 is a 12 5 is a 16 got my points but how can it possible how can we build 5 multiply by 10 so 5 10 is a 15 and 5 2 is a 10 15 plus 10 16 5 10 is a 15 and 5 2 is a 10 16 15 plus 10 16 got my point so 12 5 are 16 or 5 12 are 16 then after 6 12 are 72 12 6 are 72 then further 6 multiply by 10 6 10 are 16 how many students 6 10 are 16 plus 6 2 are 6 2 are you know very well okay 6 2 are 12 16 plus 12 16 plus 12 so how can it possible 16 plus this 10 17 17 plus this 2 72 72 60 plus 12 is equal to how many 60 plus 12 is equal to 72 understood then after 7 7 multiply by 12 7 mul multiply by 12 so how many all students 72 then further 7 multiply by 12 7 multiplied by 12 is equal to 84 
सेवन ट्वेल्व जा एटी फोर एंड ट्वेल्व सेवन जा एटी फोर सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाय टेन सो सेवेंटीन सेवन टेन जा सेवन टेन जा सेवेंटीन प्लस सेवेन सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू सेवेन टू जा फोर्टीन सो सेवेन टू जा फोर्टीन इज इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी सेवन टू जा फोर्टीन इज इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी ऑल स्टूडेंट सेवेन टू जा फोर्टी इज इक्वल टू सेवन टू जा फोर्टी इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटीन प्लस टेन एटीन एटीन प्लस दिस फोर एटी फोर सो आंसर इज वॉट सेवन ट्वेल्व जा एटी फोर एंड ट्वेल्व सेवन जा एटी फोर अंडरस्टूड गोट माई पॉइंट ऑल स्टूडेंट आई आई होप यू ऑल आर अंडरस्टूड अ प्रीवियस लेक्चर वॉट वी हैव डन ओके इन दिस टू टिल टू वन टू सेवन यस्टरडे वी हैव डन एंड देन नाव वी आर मूव ऑन एट टू टेन हाउ मेनी एट टू टेन वी हैव लेफ्ट ओनली दिस थ्री ब्लैंक्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज नंबर विच एक्सरसाइज एक्सरसाइज नंबर थर्ड ए क्वेश्चन नंबर वन so students let's start here this this all blanks so 8 multiply by 12 8 8 multiply by 12 so how many all students 8 multiply by 12 8 12 are 12 it's how many 8 12s are 12 it's are 96 how can it possible 8 tens are 18 10 it's are 18 or 8 tens are this 18 so how can we write 8 tens are 18 plus 10 it's are 18 then 8 twos are or 2 eights are Eight two za, eight two za sixteen and two eight za sixteen. Eighteen plus ten nineteen. Nineteen plus this six nine. Sorry, eighteen plus ten nineteen. Nineteen plus this six so ninety six. Got my point, all students. Eighteen plus sixteen. So how many? Nineteen six. Understood, all students. Then for the nine. Understood. Now nine nine twelve za, twelve nine za one zero eight. Well, nine za or nine eight za one zero eight. Got my point, all students. So step by step, we are going to do this. Nine multiply by ten. Nine multiply by ten. So how many? Nineteen plus nine multiply by ten is equal to nineteen. Then after nine multiply by two. Two nine za or nine two za. How many all students? Nine two za eighteen or two nine za eighteen. So answer is what eighteen nine two za eighteen or two nine za eighteen and then nine te, nine multiply by ten so nineteen or ten multiply by nine so nineteen understood all students so nineteen plus this ten nineteen plus ten so hundred hundred plus this eight so one hundred and eight so answer is what nine hundred sorry. Twelve nine za one hundred eight eight and nine twelve za one hundred and eight. Understood, all students. Now last blanks. A uh, ten multiplied by twelve. Ten twelve za or twelve a uh, twelve ten za. So ten ten za how many hundred? Ten ten za hundred. Okay, ten ten za hundred. It's like that. So we can write ten ten za is equal to hundred. Then after ten two za. Ten two za how many students? Twenty. Two ten za twenty. Two two ten za twenty or twen ten two za ten ten two za twenty or two ten za twenty. So hundred plus twenty. So how many hundred plus twenty? So one hundred and twenty. One hundred and twenty. But where or where? Okay. So ten twelve za one hundred and twenty and twelve ten za or ten twelve za. See here. Ten twelve za one hundred and twenty and twelve ten za. First of all, we a straight side and then opposite side. Ten twelve za one hundred and twenty and twelve twelve ten za one hundred and twenty. Understood, all students. This is your exercise number third. A equation number one is here done. I hope you all are understood better. So now I am going to move on further. Exercise okay, but we starting before exercise question number two now okay Ex exercise number third a eh? but we started before question number two let's see what is the question okay what exactly what is the question multiply breaking up of factors what multiply breaking up factors exercise number third a eh? question number two multiply breaking what is the meaning of breaking we have break a digit. Okay, already we know we are studied, we are studied in third standard. We are learn in third standard, 
but here your digit are increase okay so that's why multiply breaking up a factor is this your question number two okay so now students one by one we are going to learn question number one okay so exercise number third exercise number third a question number two multiply breaking up a factors got my point all students so then we start in here the question number one okay again i am repeating you exercise number third equation number we have done and then further we start the question number two question number two is what all students multiply by breaking up factors multiply multiply by breaking up factor in question number one six multiply by eight six eight is a multi okay question is what six and eight Six eight za how many? Forty eight. Six x za forty eight. Or x it za forty eight. But how can it possible? Only we know the tables because of you have learned the tables. That's why. That's why I am telling you again and again, students. You must be remember the table. You must be learn the table. Okay. So this without knowing the table, you don't do in the multiplication. chapter or division okay without tables you don't do anything in maths so you have to, you must be have to learn this all question uh, all tables 1 to 20 how many tables we are we are we are going to learn 1 to 20 okay you must be a uh, learn at your home all student so question number 1 is 6 multiply by 8 is equal to 48 Forty-eight. So six eight za or eight six za. How many? See here, I am wrote in box. Okay, six eight za. How many? Forty-eight or eight six za. Forty-eight. Got my points, all students. This is your question number. For as like that, we are solving one by one all question. Now move on the question number B. Question number B is what? Here, question number B is what? Question number B is seven multiplied by nine. It means seven nines are seven nines are how many all students? Seven nines are seven nines are how many all students? Seven nines are seven nines are we do first of all, but we know the table. If we know the table, so we can give, able to give a answer. Okay, so we. I hope you all are know seven nines are sixty three or nine seven is a sixty three. Understood? So seven nines are sixty three or three ten. Uh, sorry, three three means what? But first of all, we write the three and then six six nines are sixty three. As like that, we write we write the first three and then we write the six. As like that, six nines are. Six nines are sixty-three. Understood? Six nines are sixty-three. Got my point, all students? Okay. So now, before we starting question number C, before we starting question number C, again we are repeating the uh, repeating here. I am I am repeating here, here question number one. Six eights are forty-eight. So here we solve by solving the question by the using of table. Break the number. Six six eights are Forty-eight. Six eight is how many? Forty-eight. Understood, all students. And then now question number B. Seven multiply by nine. So seven nine is sixty-three. Seven nine is sixty-three. Understood, all students. Seven nine is how many? Sixty-three. Got my po point, all students. Now we move on question number C. So let's start the solve the question number. See question number C is what? Question number C is as like that. Question number C is one one five one and five means fifteen multiply by five. So this both number this this factor this both factors we are breaking and we write the answer. So first of all, how can we solve the one five and five? So fifteen multiply by five. So five five is how many all students? We all know five five is twenty five. Five five is a twenty five is equal to twenty five. So I am brought here the five and here two. Understood all students? Five here and two. Five five is a twenty five. So as a carry from two and downside five. Five five is a twenty five. So again I am repeating you five. We write the here about the five because of okay as like we write as like that and because of this. 
टू डिजिट सो फाइव एर एन टू एज अ फॉर्म ऑफ केरी सो स्टूडेंट्स वी राइट अ टू एज लाइक दिस फॉर्म ओके बट विच फॉर्म इन केरी फॉर वट केरी फॉर्म थेन आफ्टर फाइव फाइज इज ट्वेंटी फाइव इज डन फाइव हियर एन टू थेन आफ्टर हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइव मल्टीप्लाय बाय दिस फाइव एंड फाइव मल्टीप्लाय बाय दिस वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइव मल्टीप्लाय बाय फाइव एंड फाइव मल्टीप्लाय बाय दिस वन सो फाइव वन जा फाइव वन जा हाउ मेनी ऑल स्टूडेंट्स फाइव फाइव वन जा फाइव प्लस केरी काउंट टू फाइव प्लस टू फाइव प्लस टू हाउ मेनी ऑल स्टूडेंट्स सेवेन फाइव प्लस टू हाउ मेनी सेवन सो फिफ्टीन मल्टीप्लाई बाई फाइव मीन्स फिफ्टीन फाइव जा सेवेंटी फाइव ओके हाउ केन अ सेवन कम इज इय फाइव वन जा फाइव फाइव प्लस टू दिस केरी एंड सेवन एंड हाउ केन इज कम टू फाइव फाइव जा ट्वेंटी फाइव सो फाइव हियर एंड टू केरी अंडरस्टूड दैट्स वाई हियर आंसर इज वॉट सेवेंटी फाइव 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 जा ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड टेन आफ्टर वन फाइव जा फाइव एंड टेन फॉर दर फिफ्टीन फाइव जा सेवेंटी फाइव गुड माई पॉइंट ऑल स्टूडेंट्स ना एज लाइक सेम क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर डी अंडरस्टूड क्वेश्चन नंबर डी इज एज लाइक सेम वन थ्री थर्टीन मल्टीप्लाई बाय फोर मीन्स थर्टी फोर जा वी डोंट नो आंसर हाउ केन वी सॉल्व ओनली वी नो द टेबल नंबर फोर वी ओन वी नो द ओनली स्टूडेंट ओनली टेबल वी नो द वन टू टेन बट we don't know the table number 13 so how can we do the sum so we can uh, we solve the sum as like that one by one all factors 13 multiply by 4 the so 13 4 za how can we do 13 4 za 4 3 za see here 4 3 za how many 4 3 za 12 4 3 za 12 so 4 and 3 4 3 za 12 so 2 here and 1 this carry 4 here and 1 in carry form understood all students four here and one in carry form that's why students how can we write we write as like that four minus sorry four sorry three multiply by four means three fours are so two here and one carry as a form of the carry understood as a form of the carry then after further four ones are See here, I am wrote here. One four za four. First of all, four three za twelve. Two here and one carry. Then after one four za. One four za how many? Four. One four one za or one four za both are same. So one four za how many? Three four za and one four za. Three four za twelve. Four three za twelve. Four one za four. So four one za four plus count this carry. So how many? Five. Four one za four plus this one. So. Five four plus one how four plus one so how many all students five so answer is what thirteen multiplied by four is equal to fifty two thirteen four za fifty two how many thirteen four za fifteen two step by step see here first of all four three za twelve one four za four and thirty four za fifty two thirteen four za fifty two got my point all students now again I am I am explaining you question number C. Which question? Question number C. Question number C. Fifteen one five fifteen multiplied by five means fifteen five. Zah how many? We don't know. Only so how can we solve five five? Zah see here. I am brought here five multiplied by five five five. Zah twenty five. Five five. Zah twenty five. So five here and two is a form of the carry. So we can write as like that twenty five five here and two is a form of carry. Then for the five five the twenty five is done. Now next step one five the or five ones the. So one five the is equal to five. One five the how many all students five. So one five the five and count count these two carry as a form of carry. So five this five and these two five plus two how many all students seven. So we write as like that seven. So answer is what come fifty five the seventy five. Okay, got my point, all students. Again, I am repeating you: five five is a twenty-five, one five is a five, and fifteen five is a seventeen five. Understood, all students? Is this is this your question number C is done? Okay, we have to write in your 
फेयर बुक दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर ए बी सी एन डी क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इन क्वेश्चन नंबर ए बी सी और डी यू हैव राइट इन योर फेयर बुक वेर यू आर राइटिंग ऑल स्टूडेंट्स इन योर फेयर बुक अगेन एंड आई एम रिपीटिंग यू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर बी हाउ कैन वी डू दिस ऑल सम ओके सो क्वेश्चन नंबर सी इज वन फाइजा मीन्स सॉरी वन फाइजा नॉट बट फिफ्टीन फाइजा फिफ्टीन फाइजा सो फाइव फाइव जार ट्वेंटी फाइव सी यर फर्स्ट स्टेप फाइव फाइव जार ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव दिस फाइव एंड दिस फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय इच अदर सो फाइव फाइव जार ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव हियर एंड टू हियर सो ऑन द स्टूड ऑल स्टूडेंट सो टू हियर एज अ फॉर्म ऑफ कैरी वी राइट द एज अ फॉर्म ऑफ कैरी एंड फाइव हियर एज अ डाउन साइड एंड देन दिस फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय दिस वन ओके सो फाइव वन जार और वन फाइव जार हाउ मेनी फाइव ओके वन फाइव हियर वॉट आई एम राइटिंग फाइव फाइव जार ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव हियर एंड टू फॉर्म ऑफ कैरी एंड देन फाइव प्लस सॉरी फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाई वन फाइव वन जार फाइव प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू सेवन तो फिफ्टीन फाइव जार सेवेंटी फाइव इज योर आंसर कोट माई पॉइंट ऑल स्टूडेंट्स फाइव फाइव जार ट्वेंटी फाइव वन फाइव जार फाइव एंड फिफ्टीन फाइव जार सेवेंटी फाइव अगेन एंड अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग यू थ्री टू फोर टाइम्स बिकॉज ऑफ यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस question or you have to learn this question got my point all students now question number b again and i am repeating you question number d question number d is what 1 3 13 4 13 by 4 multiply by 4 is how many all students 13 multiply by 4 is equal to we don't know answer we don't know the table number of 13 so we break the number and one by one break the factors and we solve the question okay so 3 4 za this 3 and this 4 multiply by with each other 3 4 za how many 12 or 4 3 za 12 so here what i am wrote here 4 3 za 12 or 3 4 za 12 got my point all students so this 3 and 4 multiply by each other so 2 here and 1 carry 12 how can we write the 12 all students 2 here and 1 form as a form of the carry understood all all students then after 1 4 za 1 4 za 4 and count this one carry what 1 4 za 4 1 za 1 4 za 4 or 4 1 za 4 and then 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 5 so answer is what 5 plus 2 so 13 4 za 50 2 13 for za how many all students 50 2 first of all 4 is at 12 One four is a four, then thirteen four is a fifty-two. Got my point? Again, I am repeating you. Three four is a twelve, four three is a twelve. Both side is a correct. Three four is a twelve, and four three is a twelve. Then after one four is a four, and four one is a four. Then after thirteen four is a four, thirteen four is a fifty-two, and four thirty is a fifty-two. And the students, students, now is this your question number one? Sorry, question number two is done here. Question now in exercise number third A, which first question is what? Build the twelve times table. Understood. And question number two is what? Factors a breaking up of factors. And question and ex and and last year exercise number third A is a finish. Okay. So now for the starting a new exercise third B before let's check here the new topic. Okay, understood. What is the new topic? Exploring multiplication. Today's only we are see this topic. Today we are see see this topic. See this topic. What is our new topic? Exploring a multiplication. Exploring multiplication further. What? Exploring multiplication further. Okay. So I am explaining you here, students. so multiply by doubling okay what is a new topic exploring multiplication further but how can we do this sum all multiplying by doubling what multiplying by doubling if you know the four times tables you can work out the eight times table by a doubling it is it means what if you know what if you know if you know the four times table it means a table number 4 we know so you can work out the eight times table by doubling understood all students how can is this possible all things i am telling you tomorrow but now briefly now shortly i am telling you here if we know the table number 4 so work out 
eight tables by doubling. Okay, here I am know the table number four. Seven four is the how many? Twenty three. And here seven eight is the. So here four and what I am do here the doubles. So four plus four eight. Okay, and twenty three. And then what I, I am adding here? Double numbers. Understood? Is this your multiply by doubling? Got my points now. If you know the eight tables, you can easily multiply by sixteen as a double of eight is sixteen. How can we know the students? If we know the table number eight, you can easily multiply by sixteen as the double of eight is sixteen. One eight is a eight, so one six one sixty is a sixteen. Understood, all students? Two eight is a sixteen, so two six two uh, sixty is a thirty-two. We have to do here the double numbers plus with other numbers. Got my point, all students? Yes. Tomorrow again, am I again? I am explaining you multiply by doubling and how can we do? And it's example. Understood, all students? I hope you all are understood. And you have to do exercise number third A, question number one and two in your fair book. Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you so much.